Hey, hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Sense. Hope that you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna be taking a look at 20 of the fragrances that are selling like crazy as of this video in the US. So if you're interested in what people are buying, what people are wearing right now, this is gonna give you a really good heads up on what those fragrances are. And we're gonna be covering both retail and discounters because what people are buying at retail is not the same thing a lot of times as what they're buying at discounters. It's kind of two separate markets really. So you can look back at this video in the future and see what people were wearing and either be like, wow, we're wearing so much different stuff nowadays. Or maybe five years from now, you'll look at this video and be like, ah, or in the exact same crap now. Nothing changed. All the fragrances I talked to you about are gonna be linked in the description, broken out into the two different categories, both retailers and discounters. Goes without saying though, if you wanna save money, you should probably buy any of these at discounters if you can find them, because a lot of those fragrances selling like crazy at retail can be found for less. But I mean, if you wanna buy full retail, go for it. I do all the time. So I'm not like, I'm not judging you, okay? Macy's gotta make money too, right? Before we jump into this, and there's a lot to jump into, here's some codes you guys can use to save money across different websites, including new codes for Beauty House and Latafa, which those codes are GENTS, G-E-N-T-S, real simple. Then of course, there's the Perfume Box, Frag Flex, all the other codes as well. So use those to save yourself a little money if you shop at any of those different websites. Let's get started with the retailers, the fragrances that are selling like crazy at full retail, which these are the more popular fragrances, okay? Uh, I know for a lot of us, you know, we just buy everything or most everything at discounters. And so sometimes people will kind of get in their heads like what's popular at discounters is what's popular everywhere. That's not necessarily the case. So your average Joe that's wearing a fragrance, they bought that probably at Sephora, Ulta, TJ Maxx even. I know that's not really a retailer necessarily in the way that we would typically think of it, but you know, that's where they buy their stuff. It's actually like a brick and mortar discounter. And that's reflected in the end of year sales. So those numbers that come out every year that I try to get and then present to you guys uh, of the top 30 best-selling fragrances, those are uh, from retail a lot of times. I mean, that's where they're selling bottles. And I know this firsthand because my fragrances, these five right here, are available in retail stores at Perfumania and the Fragrance Outlet. And they're also available uh, online at Nordstrom. And shameless self-promotion, the five fragrances that I creatively directed, Terra Nova, Jet Black Enigma, West Loop, Edgewater, and South Slope. Those are the fragrances. You can find them at Michael Mole's website. Like I said, you can also find it inside Perfumania, the fragrance outlet at those stores. So you can stop in, spray those on, just check them out. Especially for fall and winter, Jet Black Enigma, West Loop are gonna be uh, my choices. But yeah, those ones, they're available in retail stores. They're also available online and you can get them for like 20% off online. But guess what? They sell like 100 times more bottles in stores at retail versus 20% off online. It's just how it is. People, a lot of times, they, they go into a store, they try it, they like it, they buy it right away, even though they can get it for less. So what are those big sellers? Well, the first one, which is not gonna be a surprise to anybody, Dior Sauvage, both the Eau de Parfum, the Eau de Toilette, and the Elixir. The Parfum iteration typically is the worst selling. So when you go online to Macy's, Sephora, Nordstrom, any of these websites you sort by best selling, Sauvage is pretty much always up there toward the very top. If it's not the very first thing that you see, it's gonna be like the second thing that you see. And the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette kind of swap places back and forth, back and forth, but those are typically the best selling in the line, the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. The Elixir sells very well also. I just kind of combined all of those into this one slot, this one spot, because I didn't want to be like, okay, here's the top 10 best selling at retail right now. Three of them are Sauvage, but that's kind of how it is. And we all know the drill with Sauvage, right? This stuff is obviously super popular, very versatile, big compliment puller, big performance. The Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum really well known for having an ambroxany feel to them, kind of a metallic feel. The Eau de Parfum a little bit smoother, uh, a little more sweetness from vanilla in that one versus the Eau de Toilette, but fantastic for year round use, extremely versatile. The Elixir, super powerful. And uh, that one, very woody, spicy, masculine. Love the Elixir. And uh, the Eau de Parfum, as of this video, 
is the one that was uh, on top. Because essentially what I did is I looked through the, uh, the biggest retailers in the US for fragrances, Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, sorted by best sellers, and kind of contrasted and compared to see like what's selling everywhere. And that's this. The next one down from that, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. And this is my new bottle that I got in because my 100 mil was practically empty. Now I get a nice big 150 mil, just like comically oversized, but what are you gonna do? At least I'm not gonna run out. So when it comes to Bleu de Chanel, the Eau de Parfum is just about always the best selling, uh, but the Eau de Toilette and the Parfum are extremely popular as well. It's obviously extremely versatile. A big compliment puller has a nice classy edge to it. Uh, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum, no big surprise that this one would be right there with Sauvage. But what else is selling really well at retail? Well, this. Le Mal de Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is performing very, very well at the stores that carry it. And this is kind of the, uh, the trend. Jean-Paul Gaultier has taken off in a big way, especially the uh, Le Mal and Le Beau lines in the US because they were not really readily available up until pretty much this year, as far as like the entirety of those lines. Uh, before then, you basically just had to hope you could find it at a discounter. And that's not really selling a whole lot of bottles, right? Because discounters get in like, let's say a hundred bottles and it sells out like that. A hundred people got a bottle, but you know, compared to what's being moved in Macy's, for example, that is literally nothing. And that's how it's been uh, with a lot of JPG fragrances, just difficult to find uh, and they weren't carried. And then this year that changed. So you can now buy the fragrances from Jean-Paul Gaultier's website directly in the US. You couldn't do that before. Uh, you can find it in retail stores like Macy's and they have just skyrocketed up the sales charts. So it would not surprise me if um, when those numbers come out for this year, what the sales numbers were, that Jean-Paul Gaultier is actually on there in the US finally, because the last couple of years, they haven't been. So Le Mal de Parfum, absolutely crushing it. Fantastic for fall and winter time. Uh, sexy fragrance, another one with a nice classiness to it. Has iris in there, which I love and doing really well. Also doing really well, Born in Roma Intense from Valentino. My very favorite from the line. I think this is the one I would go for. Well, hands down it is, if I could get only one from the line. It's an amazing compliment puller in the air. This stuff is killer. There's a nice sweetness to it from vanilla, but not overloaded. A little vetiver in there gives it a nice masculine edge as it dries down. Some nice woodiness. And uh, Born in Roma is one of those lines that is sneaky popular. Well, nowadays, I think a lot of people actually realize that. But for a while, it was like, oh, who cares? You know, Valentino, Born in Roma. But Born in Roma sells really well. And this one uh, kind of came out and crushed it and has been steadily climbing ever since it came out. It's been finding a bigger and bigger audience. So another one that during fall and winter time is very versatile. Like I said before, big compliment puller, great performance. There's a lot to love about this one. You know what else has been selling well at retail? Stronger With You Intensely. Yes, Stronger With You Intensely. And this one may surprise you a little bit, but in the US, kind of going back to what I talked about with this one, you really couldn't find this stuff. At discounters, you could, but they were not actively selling it at retail stores. It wasn't something that was released really in the US. That changed this year. And since it has been available, it has been selling like crazy. And it's another one that makes sense when you think about it. At full retail, Stronger With You Intensely is not that expensive. It's definitely on the cheaper end of uh, full retail pricing. It has huge performance, which means you get a lot of bang for your buck. Because if this was really cheap, but then the performance wasn't that good, you'd have to use a lot more of it, right? So you go through the bottle quicker, but this one, you could stretch out that bottle usage for a long time because just a little bit goes a long way. Very sweet, attention grabbing, has a nice chestnut vibe to it. Most popular in the entire lineup and uh, another one that this year has taken off, which is such a funny thing to say because it's been out for years. So it's like, you know, it, it didn't just come out of nowhere. But the fact that it released officially in the US this year means that for a lot of people shopping at retail, maybe the first time that they've actually heard about it, they're not really into fragrances. So for them, it would be. Not a big surprise, myself also selling really, really well. The Eau de Parfum outselling the Le Parfum, which also is not a big surprise because I think for most people, 
the Yoda Part Farm is gonna be the go-to. You know, it's a little bit more versatile, a little bit cheaper. Very clean, fresh, modern, easy to wear. And this was the release of last year. I mean, if we're being honest, just talking about the impact that it had, myself was the biggest designer release of the year. Came out late in the year, um, kind of like late August, if memory serves correctly, and basically just crushed. Or maybe it was early, mid-August, it was sometime in August. Just came out and skyrocketed up the sales charts, ended up being one of the top 10 best-selling fragrances of the year, even though it only had like four months of sales. And it's continuing this year. So myself, probably gonna be around for a long, long, long time. What else is selling? Lamal Elixir. Yeah, uh, pretty much the exact same thing I said over here. That's what's going on over here. Finally released where everybody could find it. And um, at full retail, it's actually cheaper than what some discounters were trying to charge for it when you couldn't readily find it in the US. So it's one of those times where it's like, wait, wait a second, this is like 25, 30 bucks less at retail than what I bought it for when you could only find it at, you know, XYZ discounter. So this one and this one, I would expect those are gonna be around for a while in the uh, best sellers. It just feels like Jean-Paul Gaultier is kicking off like uh, an added focus on the US market, bringing everything over finally. Or I'm not saying that they're going to like focus on the US and like ignore other markets. That's not what I mean. What I mean is they're finally like actually saying, oh, Maybe we should make our stuff available there, but just, that's, why didn't I think about that before? Maybe some people might want to buy those things. Ah. No big surprise, Eros, Eros, big seller, top seller. It has been ever since it came out. Really popular, extremely easy to wear. Big compliment puller. The Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, typically going to be the best sellers with Eros. Eros Flame does not do as well as uh, standard Eros as far as sales goes. But that one is equally good. And that's one that a lot of people in the fragrance community will say, oh, get Eros Flame instead, you know? It's not quite as played out, but it does the job. But yeah, Eros still selling well, still crushing. So is this Y Eau de Parfum? Uh, that is the clear third place winner as far as blue fragrances go. Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel outsell why? But that doesn't mean why isn't popular. It is immensely popular. It sells crazy amounts of bottles. It's just these two over here are goliaths. You know, these are just monsters. And it will be interesting to see as time goes on. I mean, obviously YSL is going to keep making this. They're going to keep making this. But it's going to be interesting to see if they take a step back from like the loam fragrances and then just concentrate on these. Hopefully not. But myself has definitely leaped over loam as far as sales goes and it's like kind of neck and neck with this one and a lot of times this is actually outselling this but why has a, a bigger built out line so more fragrances overall to go around so it's not exactly apples to apples but why eau de parfum selling really well as you would expect and then the final fragrance in this top 10 for retail is the most wanted now i do want to say that depending on when you look at any of these websites, discounters or retailers, those best sellers are gonna change, right? So what it looks like today, a month from now, it could be jostled around, especially if a big release were to come out or something like that, as seasons change or um, you know, people's tastes change a little bit, it's gonna change the, uh, the best sellers. But as of right now, these are the ones that looked consistently across the websites that I looked at to be toward the top there. And the most wanted is Azaro's biggest release right now, kind of in the vein, the style of Stronger With You with that, that sweetness, that warmth, great for fall and winter, big compliment puller, selling really well. So that's retail. That's kind of a snapshot of what the retail market looks like. What does the discounter market look like? Well, it is different. Probably not a big surprise. One of the biggest differences is clones. Clone fragrances sell really well at discounters. <laughs> they don't sell at all at retailers, at least not these retailers. And one of the biggest clone fragrances right now, which makes sense because we are heading into winter time. You know, it's getting cool outside. One of the biggest is Liquid Brune. This is from French Avenue, which is part of Fragrance World. And that is a clone of Parfum Somali Altair. And it's also just one of the best overall clones on the market today. Quality is fantastic. This is the type of scent 
that in the air, just about nobody's gonna be able to tell a difference. It absolutely nails. Smelling like Parfum Smarly all day year. Like it's just, it's goofy. It, it shouldn't be as close as it is. And that one popped up toward the very top of Joma Shop. Actually, I think it was, as of when I'm filming this video, number one at Joma Shop. And then it was like in the top two or three at uh, Fragrance Buy. I will say when you're trying to find like best sellers on discounters, it can get a little frustrating. Like, well, not frustrating, but some websites, they really don't change their best sellers. So like if you go to FragranceNet, for example, or FragranceX and you sort by best sellers, it's the same stuff that was showing as best sellers like 10 years ago. Like not for nothing, but come on guys. Cause it'll even be in like the exact same order. It'll be like, oh, CK1, Calvin Klein Eternity. You know, it's like, are you sure those are your best sellers? You sure about that? I'm not saying they're not selling nothing, but. So as of this video, Liquid Brune, this is one of the top, 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 top sellers. And it makes a lot of sense why this is in terms of quality up there with Comra uh, and you know all the other really big fragrance clones as far as the quality goes. It's one of those ones that's just like about as good as you could expect to get. What else is selling really well? Hawass Black, which makes sense because this is a fragrance from a really hyped line of fragrances. Of course, the original Hawass is one of the most popular alternative or clone fragrances ever. And when you come out with a new one, a new Hawass, there's gonna be a lot of hype behind it. And that means you're gonna have a lot of people scooping it up. And then this one also had like a little bit of weirdness with it where um, some people were not sure if it was even a legitimate Rasasi release, which got more people questioning, like what's going on with that? More people interested. So this is similar to a Hasavat from Nishane. Uh, some people also find similarities to Absolute Ventus from Creed. To me, it's, it's more similar to Hasavat, but with like a little bit of a darker tinge to it, it is really, really strong. It's very potent. Uh, it's an extrait to Parfum. It is extremely overwhelmingly oily also. So when you spray this on your skin, which I'm not gonna do, but when you spray it on your skin, it just leaves like a sheen of oil where you sprayed it. Of course, like I said, really strong, lots of performance, but do be aware of that. I wouldn't spray like a white t-shirt, for example, with this. You're gonna stain it up. So Hawass Black, this one is right there with Liquid Broom. These two were everywhere that I could search that actually had bestsellers, like, you know, not the stock page of bestsellers, those were right up toward the top. So was this, Assad. This is a clone of Sauvage Elixir. And this one is such a good buy nowadays because it's very close to Sauvage Elixir. I mean, it's not the exact same, but it gets the job done. And the price has been consistently dropping with this fragrance. So it's much more affordable now than when it first came out. It's got great performance during fall and winter time. It's something you could wear constantly and it's a, a nice compliment puller as well. So Assad also selling really well. It's not all clones though. Also, this sells very well. Now this is Parfum Samarly Late, but this is kind of a placeholder for just Parfum Samarly in general. At discounters, Parfum Samarly sells very well, particularly when they're actually discounted because that's that's the trick. That's the rub with Parfums to Marley. Sometimes on these websites, you'll sort by bestsellers on the discount websites and PDM will be right there toward the top, but they're close to full retail or full retail, <laughs> but they will have just had a sale or something. So when a sale happens and you can pick these up for a, a better price, they shoot up those bestseller rankings and then they kind of stabilize when the price goes back to normal and the whole cycle repeats. So PDM, just across the board, the more popular ones, Leighton, Carlisle, Herod, Altair, Sedley, Percival, you know, you know, the usual suspects. Those are best sellers at discounters, uh, especially when they're actually discounted. That happens a lot on Fragrance Buy, actually. They'll get in Parfum Somali and they'll put them up for a discounted rate and they sell out. So a lot of times when you look at Fragrance Buy and you look at, uh, Apart from some early fragrances, it'll be like sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. That's why. Also selling really well, Spice Bomb Extreme. Spice Bomb Extreme has for a long time been a, a hype beast in the community. You know, people really love that one. And it sells really well at discounters, especially 
when it's getting cold out. Again, in the US. I do have to say between the original Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme, I do prefer that one. I like the vanilla that's in there. I think it's a little bit smoother, uh, a little bit richer, really great performance. Another one that's a surprisingly good compliment puller and still to this day sells really well at discounters. Not that it sells terribly at retail. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, but it doesn't sell like these type numbers there. Also selling really well at discounters, these, Lamal Le Parfum, Lamal Elixir, these also sell really well at discount stores. So pretty much everything I said before, yes, it carries over to at discounters. Although I do wanna say once again, since these are available in the US now, uh, do make sure you're not paying over retail. Just because it's at a discounter doesn't mean the price is necessarily discounted. So with these, do cross shop that, okay? You don't wanna pay $25 more for this at a discounter when you could just buy it directly from the brand for, for less. Also selling really well, Club de Nuit Intense Man and Club de Nuit Intense Man Pursue. One, Pursue One. And it's not Club de Nuit Intense Man, it's just Club de Nuit Pursue One, whatever. You know what I was saying. So this one is a clone of Absolute Aventus. It's pricier than normal Club de Nuit Intense Man, but still really popular, selling very well. And this is very well done also. The quality is great. The bottle's a little finicky, it wobbles a lot, it falls over pretty easily, but uh, the scent itself is bang on. And then of course, Club de Nuit Intense Man, one of the most popular clones ever and that is a clone of Creed's Aventus. So Aventus, but for much, 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 much less. Also selling really well at discounters, the most wanted. So you do have some crossover there. Uh, the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances, the Azaro fragrances, selling well in both sectors. The thing with the most wanted is it does sell out from time to time at discounters. That's because it is so popular. And um, it's one of those ones where if you can scoop it up from a discounter and save like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, go for it. Uh, but do be aware it's not insanely expensive at full retail. Also selling really well, Stronger With You, absolutely. And that makes sense to me because if you can get Stronger With You intensely at full retail for, I think it's 110, I could be wrong, but it, it's somewhere around there. And it's about the same price at discounters. Maybe it's not quite as attractive, but Stronger With You, absolutely, you can't find at retailers, but you can find it at discounters. And so with that one being in stock at discounters, people are scooping it up and it makes sense. Why? Because it is friggin' sick. I love Strong With You, absolutely. This stuff is fantastic. A great uh, sweetness to it, warmth and booziness, big compliment puller, great performance. Most people that like this are gonna like this. Most people that like this are gonna like this. It's not like they're insanely far apart. It's just for some people, this one works a bit better. I like this one slightly more myself. For other people, they like this one a little bit more, but um, Strong With You, absolutely. Selling really well at discounters. And last but not least, Eros Energy. Again, this could change, but as of this video, this is toward the top at Joma Shop and uh, doing really well at Fragrance Buy as well. It's very citrusy, like very citrusy off the top. Not everybody's gonna like that. For some people, it's just not gonna work for them, especially people that don't like a whole lot of citrus off the top of their fragrances. They don't like a little bit of rindiness in there. They won't enjoy that. It's drawn some comparisons to Aventus, not really super similar to Aventus, but when you smell the citrus, the way it hits, you could draw some comparisons there, get some similarities. I personally love the way it comes across. My wife loves it. Uh, so for me, summertime, it's a great choice. Fall and winter, not as much. Although, like I always say, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. So if you wanna wear that in winter, go for it. Probably smell awesome. The one thing I will say though, is I think it's a better buy the more time goes on and the price drops a bit. Right now at discounters, it's like 90 bucks for a 100 mil. And yes, that's less than full retail, but I would expect next year that it's gonna get down to like 60, something like that. And at that price point, it's gonna be a lot better. Still though, Aero Synergy doing very well at discounters, actually selling well at retail also, not as well as these, but it was doing well there also. So there we go, guys, that's kind of What's selling? That's what's popular right now. It's interesting to look at discounters because you've got a mix of like different clone fragrances, some newer, some older. Then you'll have like some popular designers interspersed, but a lot of times it's designers that are sometimes more difficult to find at full retail for uh, a decent price. 
and you'll find them at discounters doing really well. And sometimes some of the stuff that's doing really well at retail won't necessarily do quite as well at discounters. I wanna thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.